It's loud, yeah, bro. It's a cute little nigga now. He's a little cute little dude. <laughs> you know, we got a we got like a 17-year-old Sebastian in there for the young ladies. Uh, we got Jojo, which is a uh, we got a couple young guys like 30 and under, you know, like four of them. Uh, yeah. The youngest one is 17, but the rest of us, you know, we're old school, man. We, but uh, we still get down. We do all the dance moves, bro. Go check it out, Proyecto Cumbia on YouTube. You'll find some uh, what we did in the past. We've only done three shows, but they've been huge. So, you know, December's always slow uh, till January. So now we're gonna sign. Now it's the business. We already cut everything. We already. Won the fans. We already we proved everybody wrong that we can do it. And we also got the industry. That's what I did at the Honor Music Awards for the industry. That's we large. got that. Now it's, the, now it's the business. Let's go. It's time, it's time to get it. Hey, it's man, a, it. a couple of fans, they wanted me to ask you, like, uh, you know, a little bit about, you know, you riding on the road trips with Selena and stuff like this. Yeah. And they wanted to know... Uh, Basically, like, do you have any, like, like a certain memory that you would like to share you know, with the fans that you had with her? Yeah, you know, I didn't have memories with Selena because uh, this happened after. She, I'm from the city, from Corpus Christi. Okay. Um, I didn't really listen to the Hollywood music at the time. Right. But um, and then when she passed away, you know, that's when A.B. got me, a year later. Yeah. Uh, but I do have great memories, like, with her, with her father. With her, uh, with her husband Chris Perez, with AB, you know Suzette, the whole family. I, I man, I used to sit up with a beer with uh, Abraham. Everybody thinks he's mean, bro, but I get along more with Abraham than I do with with AB. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Abraham came from the hood, so he can relate. You know, with with certain shit. One time I got busted with weed in 1999. I got busted with weed, and that's the first time you know coming from Selena and yeah. going to that. And he kind of, he was like, at the same call he gave, what were you thinking, son? <laughs> got, I got the same fucking call, bro. Sure. What were you thinking, DJ? And I said, man, you know, it was just a little roach, man. They, they, they blew it up. They blew it out of proportion. So we capitalized and did a song called uh, La Cucaracha. You know, we did that song with Pitbull. That's when Pitbull wasn't, okay. he wasn't blowing up, but it was me, Pit, and DJ Last. And, uh, you know, we, we did that song and capitalized on it. And then smoking weed ended up being cool, you know what I'm saying? But at the time, yeah, it was like it was like the worst ever. But he's cool, man. Like I sit in the front of the bus with a beer and shit and he'll tell me all the stories about Selena and uh, you know, A B and all kinds of stories, bro. He wouldn't for five hours he had stories. So I have a lot of great memories with them, you know. It's a uh, the only thing is we can't work together. You know, we bump heads, you know what I'm saying? And we know that, like me and A.B. are like, I know it because you run your shit one way and I run my shit one way, you know what I'm saying? But one thing they can never take away from me, Mo, is I sang all them hits. They'll never mm -hmm. take that away from me, you know, as much as they would have loved to, but they can't. Right. And, right. you know, TikToks, for instance, you do some TikToks and you, you could sing like, you know what I'm saying? I could do that and they can't. And that's, why, you know what I'm saying? It's like, Little things like that that I know they get angry with. But see, that's my vocal. I did. I I put in my work months at a time for, for the first album, learning Spanish, and you know, the, just the whole the whole process, man, was a lot of work. I did five albums, and uh, very successful. And so we're here now, you know, Proyecto Cumbia, and we're back. We're on tour. Uh, we start the tour this year. It's with Frankie J, with Baby Drew, with Pan, with all the original members, and then. Some of the new guys uh, are, are young, the young cats. Name, name, name three of the, the, the top three classics that, they, that, that the fans like to hear. Uh, I think it would probably be Fuiste Mala, No Tengo Dinero, uh, Azúcar, but then you got Te Quiero a Ti, Se Fue, you got No Tengo uh, you got, there's a bunch of man. It's, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> boom, boom, mami, mami, yo te vengo a decir. We got all those insomnio. Uh, the ghetto hit that up. Oh, Fuiste Mala was, was all that one, yeah. Joe. No, sir. There's no good thing. Bro. So, no, no, no. Yeah, the, and then I've done collabs, man. The, my history, <clears throat> my history is, is, I don't even, I keep it humble. I don't even think about it. But when I do, I'm like Ricky Martin, uh, Sheila E. Zap and Rogers. I just show with Intocable, with Fonseca, with, I mean, man, it, the list goes on. And I trip out on my, Talia, Araceli Urambula, 
uh, Celso Pena, like a lot, a lot, and I and I trip out. I don't even think think about it, but when I do, it's like, yo, it's a trip to me, man. And so, you know, it's been it's been a great ride, and I, and I, we deserve more than not having shit. You know what I'm saying? My solo career is what made me today, but from the Kumia Kings, all the work we all put in, we never got shit off that. And so, like, that's what we're here for. And the fans want it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Just because they fighting. We never fought. You know what I'm saying? So we put this together, and uh, it's working. It's working, bro. Uh, uh, for, all, for all the ladies watching, man, hit that freestyle free step my life one time for them one time. Go check out VV. Uh, freestyle <laughs> my life. My voice is fucked up, Mo. I've been singing all day. But yeah. uh, go to my go to my uh, Facebook DJ Kane online. You can see right here, and I'll get that for you in the morning. But I, you know, I still I get down performing it. Um, I've been rehearsing and shit. I'm here. I'm here in the booth right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm. I'm but I just can't get it. I, I hate that shit, bro. I can't even. When I'm missing, I can't even do that shit. It's like going to watch a basketball game and you can't play. Your ankle's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you know, I get one kind of rest, so I know that you're out there working like a motherfucker. You know, Bro, it's been one crazy. I'm telling you, dog, it's, it hasn't been no, no, uh, it hasn't been no fun ride. It's been a roller coaster, but I ain't stopping, sure. Mo. Yeah. If I, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna put it like this: right. if I ain't working, nobody's working. Fuck that. I'm taking us all down. If I, if I ain't getting it, they ain't getting it because we deserve it.